Hello there. This is a Tac Life universal socket, and in theory, it can replace virtually every other socket in this traditional set. And that means, of course, it's completely obvious what we need to do next. We need to go outside, find a car, and test this thing. Welcome to CarSpy TV. Okay, let's have a closer look at this universal socket. And we can see straight away down the bottom there that it has a standard fitment for a, a wrench. So it just clicks on, like so. But it's the other end that is particularly interesting. Can you see these pins there? There we are. Now, if I poke those, you can see they move in individually. And the advantage of that is that you can take your nut of whatever size it happens to be, push it onto there, and the pins mould around it, and you can undo the nut, or do it up if you prefer. So that's all very good. We also have in this particular kit an extension bar, which pops in like so, and then back onto your ratchet. And indeed, wait for it, this piece here, which again just pops on, and then you can connect that to your power drill. It's good, isn't it? Now, if we have a look at this side of the universal socket, it tells us what size nuts it can deal with, which in terms of metric is between seven and 19 millimeters. To put that in perspective, let's have a look at my traditional socket set. And we cover seven millimeter down there, all the way up to 19 millimeters there. So that's all the metric sockets except four. As for Imperial, it does between quarter of an inch and three quarters, which is from there all the way up to there. So all the Imperial sockets except two. So that's quite a range. Okay, so I have a bolt here that holds the seat in place and I'll pop it in using the universal socket with the extension bar. So let's have a go. And what we'll do first is just get it started by hand and then bring in the universal socket and just gently push it down on top to give the pins a chance to mold around the head of the bolt. And then we'll give it a go. You ready? Well, I say that worked very nicely. So let's see how well this universal socket works on a drill. Once again, we'll just give the bolts a little start by hand. And then we'll slide the drill into place. And let's see. And out again. Very good. Okay, so we're under the bonnet, testing this tool in different scenarios, and I'd say the results are more mixed. Have a look at this bolt here. This one holds the wing in place, and you can see the universal socket will operate fine. on that bolt, but look, it's leaving scratch marks around there on the end of the metal, and that's because the socket is wider than the bolt, whereas if you use a standard socket, in this case a 10 millimeter, it's not wider, so it doesn't scratch the metal. So, yeah, that's not ideal. There are also quite a few places where the universal socket won't fit, but standard sockets will. I'll show you. So let's say we want to remove the positive cable from the battery. Well, there's the nut that we need to undo. And as you can see, there's quite a bit of thread from the bolt sticking out of the bottom there. And that's a problem for the universal socket. It won't go on, see? And that's partly because these pins don't go down far enough to actually clear the thread to enable it to get to the nut itself. Whereas in contrast, if we use a standard socket, 
no problem whatsoever. The socket is also too wide to use in some scenarios. Here, for example, it can't clear this curvy piece of metal to actually get to the bolt properly, like I'll show you. There we are, see? That's not gonna work. Whereas a standard socket fits inside this piece of metal, no problem whatsoever. But don't get me wrong, there are lots of places on the car the universal socket fits perfectly well. It fits here, for example, and over there, and on this one, and even down there. Have a look at this. The universal socket doesn't just work on traditional nuts and bolts, it works on all kinds of peculiar shaped fastenings, as I shall now demonstrate. So let's see how the universal socket does on these weird shapes. And what we'll do is we'll start down here on the middle one, the triangle. Are you ready? No problem whatsoever. Now we'll do the L one. And that's out too. And finally, my personal favorite, the curvy hook. Easy. Now, as I said earlier, this particular universal socket is made by Tac Life, but there are lots of different makes and models on the market. In my experience, they do typically come with this short extension bar, but if that's not enough, you can always add the extension bars from your existing socket set, and then you can make something really very special indeed. And I don't know if there are any nuts and bolts on the moon, but I reckon with this, we could probably reach. I have just had a brilliant idea. I reckon I could sell this piece of wood as art because i tell you what i have been to genuine art galleries and seen things which are nowhere near as beautiful and creative and original as this masterpiece the only question is how much do i sell it for so i don't want to undersell it so what do you reckon twenty five thousand pounds thirty <laughs> no you're right i agree completely i won't take a penny less than fifty So, how do we summarise the Tac Life Universal Socket? Well, if you physically have space to get the socket down onto the nut or bolt you're dealing with, yes, it's good. It works well whether you're using a traditional manual ratchet like this, or indeed, your power drill. It's also, as I showed you, pretty good at dealing with these weird, peculiar shaped things that pop up every now and then when you're doing DIY. So. The only real issue is the physical size of the thing, and there will be a lot of places, particularly on the car, where it just won't fit. But that's not the end of the world. This is clearly not designed to replace your socket set, but nonetheless, it is a worthy addition to it, and I'm glad to have one. Anyway, that's it for this video. Don't forget to subscribe to CarSpy TV for more content. Do me a favor and click like on this video, and I'll see you soon. Unless, unless this sells for a million pounds, in which case I'm going on holiday. Bye.